Nice. How many times will I tell you? Oh, no, my name. Don't! Don't come up with that shady excuse that all your mates in town go half naked in the street. Just imagine. But, but, but what's wrong with you? Man? Everything, Nancy. Everything is wrong. Dressed like that, walking on the street, you invite disaster. For mom, I'm not walking along the street. I'm using a taxi. Yeah, huh? By the way, where do you say you're going to? Abba, mama. How many times will I tell you? I want to hear again. I'm going to Ajabu. Ajabu? I do not have relatives in Ajabu, Nancy. But I have. I told you my school friend lives in a big house with her, with, with her parents and she invited me. And your friend must be dressing like you do, isn't it? Wise up, mommy. There's nothing bad with you and dress. If your father was still alive, he would like to die before letting you dress out. But dad isn't here. And how are you that sure he wouldn't approve if he was? After all, every dad wants his daughter to look pretty, just the way I'm looking. Pretty you are, but not like a whore. A whore? Is that what you think I look like? You don't look any other thing to me, or to any more of mine out there. I'm not a whore. I'm a And it stops by 10. And this is 9.45. Ah uh ah, -uh, come on now. Make me wake up. I beg, no, go, no, go, no. No, nah, I'm guy, me, Seth, I'm, I'm not too big. You know, interested in going to the market today. Or... Why? Nah, guy, check out, nah, check out. Throughout last week, I go market. You know how much we transport the cost now? Huh? Throughout, I go market. And guy in t-shirt, one and all set. Is that why you will not go to market today? Bro, check out now. Check with him. That is enough reason. You see, we go to the market. We stay from morning till night and we don't make one naira. Is that why we left our various villages to come to uh, Ajabu? Eh? Uh, you see, they told us that this town is where things happen. But it is not happening to us. Ooh, hey, hey, come on. Don't talk like you are new in business. Eh? This is a gambling world, you know that. Some days you won't try. Some days you hit the jackpot. Yeah. Huh? But my own and Livy own now today, now today run dry every day. Me in car. Who no know you? Who no know say we know the same level? No, 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 no. Cool down. Who no know say we know the same level? Okay, you. People they give you goods on credit. Who want to try that kind of thing with me and Divina? I know. They see, you I'm now. Now. see, I'm now. See, I'm now. So now they think I'm. It's not like that. Oh boy, I don't dig this town for almost eight years now. From apprenticeship to setting up. When I just come, just barely two years ago. And listen, the first thing is you have to build reputation. You gotta go. Then people will now and trust you with their goods on credit. And that will take time. Nobody just to come here and call the play card every day. Because they go market, they also. Uh, I will come, I won't go. Uh -huh. uh, see, then get something really worrying me, uh, me and Livy says. You know, that your guy now, that uh, he came. He came, he came now, your guy. You make try to introduce us to him now. We've been trying to talk to you about these things, yes. And now we see a great opportunity for it. So he came now, our guy now. Now nah, we know now, nah, but now nah, your guy pass. Your guy pass now. Nah. You know, it's going to be a rock business together. Nah, you know, understand now. Nah. Nah, 
Mm -hmm. I, I get the point, okay? You want some credit facilities. Bam! Mm -hmm. All right. That's no problem. I was meant to club with him this weekend. So I guess we will all come together. Yes. And of course. And I'll be something. Why not? Of course not. Yeah. Don't go with you. But meanwhile, you guys should just prepare. Let's go to the market. I bet. Time don't pass. No, uh, that market is in my mind. Don't leave it there. What? I might not be that market. So you mean this is all you can take? Don't go out now. Go come, sir, come. I came here to give you shark. I mean, real shark. Not before more. You won't give me shark. <laughs> you won't give me a cold shark. Sir, come. Anything you want. Sir. Even if you want to go up 10 cartons, I'm ready. From, from which source? I am fully loaded. I know the boy I get it. Do. I <laughs> you like the talk now. I don't fear you. Yeah, I wonder like, for you. I ain't shark mark with the mark. I, me, I will fear you. Yes, you come. Look, please. Make them bring beer. Or what now? Ah. Oh, but come, no blessing. Yesterday, me and you did here. Let me give you 20 cards. With the blue bag. Go your bunk. You come and say, oh, from which, which, how did it take happen? I've driven for you, my man. But today, reach to me. Interesting. I'm not the crime. Hey, with me. Trust him. No way you now. I don't go again. I will do it. I will do it. Now come. You want to answer my question? Within day. Now. The door now. Listen to me. A lot of women in this town are not satisfied with their husbands. How do you mean? In bed, of course. I don't want to be everywhere now. Okay, mm -hmm. fast. In this town, it's a different case. I don't understand you. So, this with so-called married women pay young strong men like us to make them happy in bed. Fred. See, let me tell you. I have three of them. Three. One, two, three. As my clients. Fred! What? That is the fastest way to your, your grave. How do you mean? Listen, Fred. Mailing with other men's wives is the deadliest game any sane young man will ever embark on. What if these so-called married women are the ones constantly luring us into doing it? Listen to me, Fred. Poverty. I say poverty is not an excuse to commit any kind of crime. Unless you don't want to see your own children. Come on, Vito. Come. There is nothing deadly in this game. You know what? Now yeah, what do you mean? Even the wife of the DCP is involved. DC what? The Deputy Commissioner of Police. No, you are saying that Mr. Oh boy, you took the wrong map. Guy, if it's a wife, follow me to the hotel. Fred! You mean you service the wife of the whole Deputy Commissioner of Police? Not, not me. A man services her but will make use of the same hotel. Say, say, she comes heavily disguised. But I always knew her. Every Friday, which is in two days' time. How are you sure she's the one, sir? That I have been in close quarters with her. Because I and my elder brother visited them once during this their salah stuff to give the DCP some, you know, no, gifts. Who will you? Your women are wild. Wow. If you're not convinced, Come with me to the hotel on Friday. In fact, she uses room 142. Room 142. Room 142. Now you don't go far. Not <laughs> for you. Big business, Dad. The drink book will go. Big business. I'm not going to say no, Dad. I'm here, I'm here. Ah! Ah! Look at you. Look at you. Oh my God, I have to do this. 
The latest world this morning, I guess. <laughs> it came. Good morning. Morning, Miriam. My name is Ike. Nancy. Hmm, my God. Excuse me. <laughs> Honestly, Miriam, I would have stopped myself if I had missed this opportunity to behold such. Oh, please stop that joke. <laughs> She's my friend. Just arriving from Lagos. And I bet she doesn't have the strength for your jokes this morning. First, I wasn't joking. And secondly, I think I'll let you have your way because um, I'm already late for a business date. <laughs> Run along then. I will. But not for too long. I see you. Uh, please put lunch on my card. All right. I want to do the game. <laughs> for 10,000 naira a month job. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? You're not even employed. <laughs> My dear, with men like Alahaji Bamako around, tell me, who needs to burn her brains working? Alahaji Bamako? Yes! Not the name of a company, one of my small boyfriends. He got his apartment in my name. And for your information, darling, I am not a tenant. I own this place. Everything. You mean? Yes. Every document is in my name. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. He bought me a Honda Accord, a brand new Honda Accord. I just sent it for a refill. He stops my bank account with thousands and even millions when occasions demand. <laughs> my dear, whenever I indicate a shopping in London, Paris, US to buy units, the Zalahaji sucks my domiciliary account with dollars. You mean, tell me something, Miriam. That is it. Listen up, girl. You've really got to run away from that old-fashioned mother of yours immediately after graduation. You need to come over here. Ajebu is paradise. Heaven, if you know your way around. But what really do I have to do? After all, I'm not bad. <laughs> of course you're not bad. You know what? Just watch my back, okay? Hey, I bet you, I'll watch it in four hours. That is the spirit. Yes? Hi, Nikki. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Maybe I'm done. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you guys doing? You're fine. Hello, sweetie. Well, I was just hoping I will have the honor of taking both of you to lunch. Just fulfilling my part of the bargain, hoping that I won't be disappointed. <laughs> um, no, 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 that won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. You know what, dear? You just go on home, and when we're done, we'll let you know. All right? Just run a little. Serious? Mm hmm. Sure. See you. Alright, then. Cheers. Bye. Bye. I told you 
told you to watch my back. But I haven't... And we are not saying no to his invitation to lunch. I have. I, I mean, we just met. He's a complete stranger. Trust me, girl. With me around, he's no stranger. Besides... Besides what, Nancy? I'm a woman. And such ready acceptance to outing. So just being cheap. In Lagos, perhaps. Not here in Ajabu. See, here. There are simply no pretenses about fortunes. And if you're really interested in catching your own money back, your own Alahaji Nasi, then you've got to practice this religion by my own costs. Get it? Hmm? So what does Nancy do? I'm a student. What were you thinking? Yeah. Mm. You sure know how to take care of yourself. Meaning, come on Nancy. Don't be so uptight. That is a compliment. Thank you. Is it? Sure. sure. <laughs> All right then. Thank you. Yo. So what are your plans for tomorrow? Mm, tomorrow? Why yes? I don't know. Tomorrow is Friday. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking of going to the nightclub. Believe me, I would have loved to. But I will pass. I have a date already. Why pay? I'm dancing. I can't. Oh, yes, you can. Come on! He came is a nice neighbor. And you can go with him to the nightclub, even if I'm not there. He means well. Besides, he's totally harmless. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome, my dear. So, pretty. Do we have a date? All right. Good afternoon, sir. Who are you and what do you want? My name no matter now. And what I want is very important, sir. My friend, say it. And what is it? It's about your wife, sir. Are you mad? You want my wife? I don't want your wife, sir. But someone else has her already. What are you talking about? Who are you? I know you know Hotel de Plaza. Visit Hotel de Plaza every Friday from 7 p.m. in the evening till about 10 p.m. same evening. You may like or uh, you may not like what you see, sir. Hello. Hello. Hello? I know you too well, sir. You're the Deputy Commissioner of Police. Chris Nkano Adamu. Make use of your training, sir. And save yourself from this bad water. 
My elder brother was once a victim. Hello? Hello? V Did you say victim? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? It was only a lunch date, wasn't it? Sure. But when a man asks you out and don't for lunch, it's usually an opportunity he's seeking to get to know you better. He has all this time tonight when we'll be going to club together. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, the Ikim I know goes to club with a lot of crowd. That suits me fine. Mm. Well, really. I don't quite fancy this idea of me throwing myself at a king like that. Hey, hey, Nancy. Is that what you call it? More or less. Well then, let me tell you that thousands of young girls like you throw themselves at a king. But I'm not thousands of girls. Maybe not. But I'll have you know too that a king has a girlfriend. A girlfriend that will likely become his fiancé in no distant time. He does? Yes! And believe me, girl, she's doing practically everything possible to become the one. And she will succeed. That is, if you let her. If I let her? Yes! If you carelessly lose Ikem. Well, why would you be talking like this? I just met Ikem. My dear Nancy, I know men. And I know you made quite an impression on this one. Besides, Ikim is not a Casanova. He's strictly a one man, one woman type. So, why come to me then when he knows he has a girlfriend? Because he just might be looking for a replacement. Hey, I'd give him full cooperation if I were you. Hello, Is something wrong? Everything. Then let me know. How many times do I have to tell you to call before visiting? Oh, that. I just said to break some few rules if our relationship is going to last forever. Forever? So? Is it to what we said the last time we went to the club? Jesus Christ. So, well, if it is going to last forever, then breaking those rules as you're putting it is certainly not the right way. Now tell me, why do you insist I call you for coming to your place? I'm a young man for God's sake. Ah, you think you can just bash it on me the way you like? Oh, because you have my spare key, right? Look, someday you're going to badge it on me that way and you'll walk into an unexpected situation. And I wonder what that will do to your psyche. Ego. Let that be my idea. Better say it than done. Are we not going to the club tonight? No. So, you're not going to the club? Says who? Then we go together. Look at it. Return. Just stop trimming. I'm going out with my friends strictly on business matters and I don't need you to tag along. Oh, your friends? And which of them goes by the pet name, Pretty? What? Come on, Nikim. I am a woman. I know the signs. Besides, three years of courtship so, so far, it has not been wasted. I can't read you like a book. You intended mischief tonight, didn't you? Look, 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 Rita. When you're tired of running riot with your imaginations, go inside and have a shower and go straight to bed. If you believe that is exactly what I'm going to do, then you believe in anything.
This is unbelievable. <laughs> You are supposed to be a faithful wife. Not because you are just another woman. But because you are married to the Deputy Commissioner of Police. That can maim any man that tries to monkey with him. Of all the men in this world, I never imagined that it could be my own blood brother, whom I trained from his kindergarten to, to his university. I even found him a job. I can kill you. I can kill you without waiting for your stupid. I'm sorry. Keep quiet! I'm quiet! No wonder. Okay. No wonder you have refused to marry. No wonder each time I ask after you, when you came late for work, you always tell me that you went to the computer, you went to the internet. To browse. Now I know you have been browsing my wife. You have been perusing her. You have been wenching, wenching with my wife, wenching with my wife.
General idea. I see you're really catching up. Ah, uh, you told me to watch your back, and I've decided not to be bad student. Now you're talking, my dear. Now you're talking. Mm -hmm. Now, what next? Mm -hmm. Go over to his place, does the Ajabu style, or wait over here, does the Lagos style. Oh no. You see, when it comes to dating a girl, Rules are seen all over the world. Meaning, I should need to wear here for him. Exactly. All right. Thank you. You truly look good and not for this man. Thank you. the club whether you like it or not whether I like it or not yes are you out of your mind perhaps eh perhaps okay I'll give you the treatment you deserve what are you up to? I want to give you exactly the same treatment my friend Martin gave his fiancée when she went mad. Just like you just done. Ike, you want to flog me to a belt? people <laughs> not in my character stop embarrassing me <laughs> all right your majesty <laughs> <laughs> so shall we what go of course all right all right then bye, bye. have fun Oh yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Ah! I'm you see this man, so you know he gets dressed. Eh? Hey. Ah, boy. Felix. No, man. Look who we have here. Ah! What to touch you? See this man, what do you? Where you land? Just came. Eh? I entered the money bus, but it put down on the way. Hmm. And as a student who entered with his last cash on him, hmm. oh boy, I had no option but to wait for the company to send another bus from Lagos. Yeah. It must have been a, a terrible experience. Oh boy. Uh, you're lucky they even send a rescue. But nowadays they will leave you and you sleep over there. Abongo, Abongo. 
visit or at Lagos uh, after school. Come, that place is Lagos. This is Ajabu. There are more nightclubs in Tuleri alone than the whole of Ajabu. Ah, uh -huh. well, let me tell you, this is Ajabu. Huh? Nightclubs here yeah, are very expensive. And, and they, this one we are going to is 5,000 naira per head. 5,000 naira? <laughs> As you can see, the students do not swarm the nightclubs. Yes. Ah, but I was thinking this would be, this would be an express I should take down to, to the campus for my guys in Lagos. Please, can't I come along? I say you can't come now. Uh -huh. oh, 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 okay, no. Ha! Uh, Felix. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Try and understand, okay? Try and understand. Hmm? Listen. Ajabu is an expensive town. And clubbing here is damn expensive. Okay? Moreover, my guy's car can only take five people. And he's already on his way with his. I guess it's I can't do I can't do The longer with that man is here. Wow, yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Right. Good evening, sir. Yes, uh, that, that's uh, uh, my junior brother, Felix. Uh, just came from Lagos. He's a student there. Yeah. That's good. So you're welcome. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, are we set? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Filled already. There's someone waiting in the car, and the rest of them are already occupying the back seat. You see, this is um, a jabu, and the police frown seriously against such overloads, especially at nights. If you're still around for a while, I will make provisions for you next time, okay? Is that okay? It's all right. Thank you. Thinking of calling Felix, I think we should manage, right? Please, please manage, please. please. Forget him, he's, he's a small boy, please. Oh, come on. That's the more reason we should allow him to play with the big boys tonight, okay? Look, little things like this trips them. Eh? <laughs> I was a student too, you know. I I I I I don't have gate view. Leave that to me. Please call him. Okay, I'll, I'll call it. Huh? 
Come on in, guys. Well, uh, I, these are my friends, okay? They share a flat together. I mean, the way you can speak us from. This is Venus and this is Opina. Uh They are both struggling businessmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have shops at our, at our market. We deal on textiles and fabrics. I know. Yeah, you know. Well, I've made my inquiries about you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, fine, fine. Uh, let me just go straight to the point. I, I want you to do me a favor, okay? Um, we are interested in the credit facilities from your father's finance company. Well, it's no problem, so long they have collateral. Collateral. Yes, uh, no bank, not the least uh, a finance house, loans out money without collateral. Uh, I, you don't get it. Huh? See, they're not really interested in millions. Huh? Just a few thousands to get them back on their feet. You see, yeah, man, you go, please. Listen, mm -hmm. no matter how small the money is, every loan from a finance house has to be protected. Ike, you can. This is a boy talking to you now. Eh? Just for old times' sake, please. They, they are like brothers to me. I mean, in fact, we're brothers. Because we all come from Enugu State. And I, I don't want to look like I'm probing deep, but since you did it for me without a collateral, I, I plead with you to kindly extend it to them. In your own case, I personally guaranteed your loan and I had to convince my father before he instructed the accountant to release the money. Thank God you didn't default. Good. Uh, I mean, since I didn't default, can I stand in for them as a guarantor? Because I, I know them very well. Very, very well. Yes, yes. I can. Well, if your assets are enough to guarantee whatever they, they're asking for, no problem. Uh, I mean, I mean, Please, he, he can, eh? See, we, we are from honest background, eh? Please, eh? But we, we promise, eh? we, we promise to be as honest as a, a, a boy here has yes. been. Honestly, yes. Makachuku, I swear to God, we will take you back. Please, we, we will not take you back. Please. See, it's not as easy as you think. 
Loans from finance houses these days are no longer considered based on promise or collateral by mouth. My father, an ex-minister, you know, <laughs> set up this finance house because he looked around and he discovered that young traders like you guys were having problems meeting up with the challenges and uh, the standards in uh, Ajabu here. So he had to set up this um, finance house to uh, see if he can assist with um, small loans with little or no collateral. Fine! I mean, that, that is exactly what I'm asking for my friends. Ike, please, I, I am begging you. For all time's sake, just trust me, okay? Do it for my sake. I mean, and also for the sake of your father, because you'll be happy you're actualizing his dream. All right, let me see what I can do for you guys and uh, I'll do it. No problem. I didn't want this boy to come here. It's alright. The young.
Jesus Pastor. Who are those pastors? Jesus Christ. Who is our pastor? Jesus Christ. What? Look at this pastor. Look at this pastor. I'm sorry, sorry for your father there. Please, let's leave my father out of this. Why should I leave your father out of it? If you are properly trained by your father, will you be doing this at this time of the day? Why should I leave your father out of this? I'm asking you. Okay. You bastard. Point of correction. I am not a bastard. You can see the way you were packed. So what? It wasn't, it, it wasn't entirely my fault. Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? And where are you coming from? What time is it? 3.30 a.m. in the morning. 3.30 a.m. Look at the eyes. Look at him. Look at the eyes. You go. Look at that one. You know him. Uh, <laughs> Look at the side. We are sorry for this. Oh, if you are a lady, a lady, you should be ashamed of your father. Hi. You should be ashamed of yourself and your family. Look. No. No. Criminals. Look at them. You both smokers. Eh? I should you hit my car. You have the audacity to, to, to insult me. I should be asking you where you are coming from too. What? Okay. I will answer you. I will answer all of you. What's all this? You are asking me where I'm coming from. I will answer you. Can you just take it easy with the man, okay? How can somebody take it easy with this man? A man like this. Him. He could be drunk. You don't know him. Access like uh, this. He can't. What's all this like him? Huh? Want... Look, let me see what he wants to do. I am Deputy Commissioner of Police, Christian Kano Adamu. I have every right to move any time of the day that I like. I am trained by law to do that. But I can see all of you, particularly you, you are trained to break the law. You hit my car and you have the audacity to question me. Um, to start with, we never knew you were a DCP, even if we have to believe you anyway. What? Even at that, look at the way you were packed now. Ah! I'm asking you, you talk to me. What? Ah! Yes. You slap me! Yes. You slap me! 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 Attacking the Federal Republic of Nigeria! My God, my God, what have I done?
Hello? Is that allowed? Who is this? What do you mean, who is this? Eh? Don't you have my name on your phone again? Look, I'm just picking up the phone now. Who is this? My friend, this is my sixth attempt. Uh, please, who is this now? But this is this is Chris. Ah, Chosa! Yes, where are you? Uh, I, I just got to the office 30 minutes ago, sir. Uh, there was an emergency, sir. Good. Now, uh, there is another emergency. Uh, what can I do, sir? Um, which of the patrol team is uh, on duty in your area tonight? Here in Busa. What do you mean by that question? Which other area is under your jurisdiction, DPO? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, 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 better six, sir. Better six. Okay. Now I want you to take down the following information. I want you to radio them and take down this following information. Now. Yes, sir. All right, sir. I'm ready for you, sir. I have just been attacked by hand robbers. What? Yes, sir. I've been attacked by hand robbers. I hope you're okay, sir. Well, I thank God. There were about six of them. Six in number. Five men and a woman. I they hit my car and when I came down, I demanded to know why I was assaulted. As a matter of fact, I was lucky. I hit one of them on the shoulder and um, they, they took off. Uh, the instruction should be shoot a shot. Is that clear? Very clear, sir. Uh, 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 did you get the plate number, sir? Yes. Uh, the vehicle is um, the Joker 406 Salon car. Deep blue, the color. And the number is um, Unity Center, AJ 521KL. Is that right? They are armed and very dangerous. I repeat, they are armed and very dangerous. Okay? And the instruction must be shoot at sight. Is that clear? All right, sir. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Commander supersede every instruction that was given to this patrol team. Okay? I'm not shooting anyone until I'm certain. Out! I'm going to fire all of you. Hold it, hold it, hold it, please. We are not robbers. Officer, we are not armed. You can even search the car. We're just coming from the nightclub. <laughs> we are not armed. What happened to his hand? It was one madman that shot him. What did he do? <laughs> nothing, no, absolutely nothing. We just had a minor argument, and the next thing, the madman just shot him. He, he shot one of us dead. He's the one who shot this one. The madman? Yes, he claims to be a DCP. Oh. Oh. Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> I can understand. The madman claiming to be a DCP. Yes. Officers, oh, be at the lot and you make sure you don't make a move. Yes, sir. Shut up! Hello, sir, we have them, sir. Uh, we are at the Uber Express, sir, behind the Central Hospital, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Officer, we were actually coming to the police station. Say that again! We were coming to the station. <laughs> to the station? Yes, For sir. what? To report the incident. You see, we just had a minor argument. <laughs> and then the next thing, that madman shot one of us dead. He was the one who shot him. Who shot him? Shut up! What did he do? Nothing. Nothing. Wait, 
Let's, let's confirm your story. Officer, please. We need to take him to the hospital. He has lost so much blood already. Shut up! There. Are teaching me my job? No, officer, but he has to go to the hospital. We don't mind. You can take us to the, to the police station from there. We are ready to make statements, sir. You must be mad. Yeah. I think that's the DCP. If that's the DCP, then your friend will be taken to the hospital immediately. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, ah, ah. Officer, if it's that same Batman, eh? look, he, he killed one of us already. He might just be coming to finish the job. Shut up! That's right. Look at all of them here. They are all armed robbers. They are all armed robbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. What have I done? Can you believe that this criminal here? This criminal slapped me. Huh? This criminal slapped me. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, why are you beating me? Hey, 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 hey. Shut up! Officer, shut up! Shoot him! Shoot him! Don't let them run! Officer! I said if you let any one of them escape, I will steal your life. Where do you think you're going? Good. Now you listen. If you lose any one of them, forget that you are every policeman. I will personally steal your life. Do you hear me? All right, sir. Sir, uh, I know this history like the back of my hand. And so uh, what? I promise you I will get them. They won't escape. I want you now to join me and come and pick the other one. I have one of them in the boots. Make sure you call me. And don't forget, I want the three of them dead or alive. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good.
I searched the account in the, with the hope of finding something, but I couldn't find even a pin. Are you serious? But, but the DCP is... Uh, what are the robbers? What are the robbers? Sure, sir. Sure, you sir. were just telling me uh, one of them escaped. Does that mean you're incompetent? No, tell me. Yes, sir. Why are you incompetent? That means you are very incompetent. Far from it, sir. I'll get them. My friend, you better do. Or find yourself another job. Now, get out. Get out! Okay, sir. Now! Please. Mm -hmm. We have to do something and we must not leave any loopholes. Is that clear? Perfectly clear. Sit down. But, but, but. Listen, hello. The idea is that none of them must leave to speak. Is that right? None must leave to speak. Right. I have had quite a hectic day. Just a minute, sir. I, I thank God that uh, he created this opportunity for me to repay by my debt to you, sir. What debt are you talking about? Well, uh, you covered me up from the hands of the former commissioner of police about two years ago. So, <laughs> I'm repaying back my debt. <laughs> Well, it's rather good morning, sir. Uh, whatever.
He's a mobile policeman. Hey. Yes. Yeah, this Every police station. Station, if possible, at Jabu Central Police Station. What happened? They shot both of my friends and I managed to escape. Did they shoot you? Uh, Did they shoot you? No. Officer, I managed to escape. You managed to escape? Yeah. Come. Are you sure you are not a robber? Uh, yeah, officer, officer, I am not. Uh, How do you convince me you are not a robber? I am not. If I am, I won't be begging you to take me to a real police station. Uh, suddenly, I don't have any weapon with me. Uh, why don't you believe me and save her? Uh, I'm already trying the situation. I'm going to stay quiet. Please, officer. So you are assuring me you are not a robber? I am not. Uh, it's okay. Um, My shift will be over in 30 minutes. And um, I will take you to the central police uh, station. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Doctor, I have somebody here that seems to be in trouble, and I want you to take him to the station, please. Oh, there's no problem about that. That was there. All right, sir. All right, sir. Hey.
your bow. Nancy, you really had it up to the truth. I thought you weren't going to come back today. So, you walk. Where is he? Wait a minute. Where did I keep who? Where did I keep my friend? Who? He came, of course. If you're talking of he came, then you're completely misfired. Liar! Liar! I saw you last night with him. Where did you keep my fiancé? Ah, Jabu champion! Where did you keep my fiancé? To be safe, Rita! Rita! I am only taking this insult because I see you're truly aggrieved. But if you don't get hold of yourself right now and talk, if you really have something to say, I will make one or two calls. Oh, yeah? Yes! That's what I will do. One or two calls. Eh? And whatever happens to you thereafter, I will not regret it. I see. Call. Let me call my name. I think it's only last time we had to call. Nonsense, girl. Stupid thing. We interrupt this program to bring you this crime scene. Again, the better special score of the Bossa Police Crime Unit in the early hours of today made a big hit. Six dead devil robbers were disseminated and dealt with. All six robbers armed and operating with the 406 Salon Project Vehicle, registration number AJ521KL. This is the gang that has been terrorizing the Bay Area for some weeks now. We caught them while they were trying to escape. Can you imagine? A woman is involved. A woman that's supposed to be a scholar in a husband's house. situation we'll find ourselves. What do we do about it? Hmm. My God. This is too absurd to be true. Hmm. 20th century Nigeria. As a lawyer to Iba Market Association, what urgent steps did you advise us to take? First, we have to make sure that these are truly who you claim they are. Of course they are. How are you so certain? Oh, am I not the man? You don't need to tell me oh, that. Okay. Do I need to tell you that? Okay, yeah. Uh, says, oh, 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 you don't have to either. I know them. Okay. They are just coming from the police station. Yes. And they were able to identify four of the six bodies. Yes. And he came scar. Mm -hmm. You have already done that. Yes. Good. Good. And also notice the urgent moves to must bury them. Hmm. Listen. That's what I'm going to do first. Stop the barrier. How do we go about it? Um, well, as your lawyer, I will write immediately to the Minister of Environment. Please do. Please do and report back to me. I would. Eh? Because those boys cannot be buried as robbers. Because they are not. Listen, that's another issue we have to be sure of. We have to make sure those boys are not robbers. We are because sure. we can't go into this plan. We are sure, for goodness sake. We are sure. Okay? Yes. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay. Mm? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, what are we up? Sure, sir. What are we waiting for? Well, uh, uh, the ministry have not given us their permit, and uh, they've been dilly dally. The minister would even pick one, my, my cause. Now listen to me, hello. With or without the permit, you are going ahead. Is that clear? Well, well, uh, it, it can be done. It can be done. You go, get ready, go ahead with the burial while I take care of the ministry. Is that clear? Look, no, you are putting our jobs on the line. Well, we pretty well have to put our jobs on the line rather than face public prosecution. Did you say we? Yes, we. Right now, we are in this together.
my people. <clears throat> the toad does not run in the daytime in vain. Exactly. You people have not seen me in the market since today. And also, Ibe here and uh, okay, they have not been in the market since today because of the problem we have in our hands now. What happened, Chairman? Four of our members were killed this morning by the police. What? Christ! Claiming that they are armed robbers. <laughs> They are going ahead to must bury them. Well, meanwhile, I've uh, called in our lawyer. And he has gone to Ministry of Environment to stop the police from burying them. Yes. yes. Come on. What do we do now? Well, things are not okay. Why? I've informed the ministry yes. and they are not giving the permit for the burial. Okay, fine. Hey, fine. It's not so fine, Chairman. Ah. Yes, because I'm coming from the police station. Okay. And from every indication, they are going ahead with the burial, with or without a permit you, from what? the ministry. What? what? So what do we do? What do we do now? Well, I would advise we hurriedly organize a mob action to stop the barrier. Mob action? Yes. Mob action. Right. To stop the barrier. That's right. Yes. Eh? yes. I think that will okay. be Ibe. Um, Ongwe. Yes. No, sir. Please. Please. Move to the market now. Organize the youth. Tell them that police killed four of our members. A boy. Obinna. Iken. Um, Livinus, please, move now. Let them go to my house. Let them be in my house immediately. And while they're on that, uh, I'll make sure I invite every newsman I know in town. Who of you? Chairman. My fellow 
countrymen and women. In view of the recent outcry over a group of cis robbers recently gone down by men of the Busa Special Anti-Robbery Unit, I appear here to set certain records straight. And I wish to state as follows. The six, five young men and a young lady, were robbers whose luck ran out that night, thanks to the better special squad attached to Buza Central Police Unit. The same gang had earlier at about 8 p.m. operated at the Marina restaurant, injuring some people and cutting away cash and valuables worth well over hundreds of thousands. The same gang opened fire on sighting the patrolmen led by ASP Greg Adams with DCP Chris Nkalon incidentally nearby. DCP Chris had run into the group and after assaulting the Deputy Commissioner of Police and battering his car, took off in the other direction. The DCP it was that alerted the better squad. These cannot be traders at the Eba market. If they were, how come a young girl was with them? Was she also a trader? The barbaric action of the traders in confronting the police and burning down the Busa Central Police Station was premeditated on wrong premise by the haters of public order and oneness of this great nation. May I add here that we are that same police unit as Trigger Happy has been alleged. The station and indeed the streets would have been littered with corpses of the traders, of course. But thanks to the majority of the DPO, allow additional. The police absorbed the attack without any form of retaliation. Thank you and God bless. Good day, sir. You're welcome. My name is Barrister John Chukudiofo from Chukudi Chambers. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Yes. I am here because of the Iba murder. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I saw that DPO talking a load of rubbish last night on the telly. <laughs> May looking at him said the lies behind that child. I really yearned for an opportunity to cross-examine that fat fool. <laughs> that is why I'm here, sir. To give you the opportunity, the chance. To give me the chance? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I, I represent the marketers. Okay. And I've been the attorney for the past five years. That's good. And I'm convinced beyond every iota of doubt that that patrol team murdered those innocent souls in cold blood. Sir, I can't go it alone. You're a senior colleague and far more prominent. Uh, forget that. A lawyer is a lawyer. <laughs> Taken, sir, but I will not be fooled by that slogan and mess up the chance of bringing the corporates to book. Sir, the corporates are big. DCP, DPO, ASP, sir, that's why I need you. As an activist, a well-respected activist, to help fight for justice that will enable those innocent souls rest in peace. Honestly, I was considering taking up that case. Really, sir? But now that you are here, I'll tell you I'm in. <laughs> I'm so grateful, sir. 
I'm so grateful. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <sir. laughs> uh, first. Yes, sir. We are working together on it. Yes. Secondly, I tell you we don't have any time, a second to waste. Yes, sir. Um, can't we start by a strong protest letter to the Senate? Waste of time. The presidency? Another waste of effort, if not promptly followed up. Uh, so what? What do we do, sir? Uh, the media. The media? Let us buy a time and talk to the people. Hmm. Embarrass the police and galvanize the presidency into prompt action. Hmm. It's all right. If we are not careful, mm. the police will put holes in our defense. Okay. So, let's as usual outsmart them. First, we have to group all of them as air traders. Okay. When we get justice, then we can separate. Beautiful. Body girl? Well, let us make it stick that the girl in question is the minister's son, Ikem's fiancé. Okay. I know questions are bound to be raised. Why such a little girl went out with five men, barely 48 hours after stepping her foot on uh, uh, the soil of Ajabu? Hmm. It happens everywhere, sir. Well, the risk women take. And men too. Um, Barrister John, sir, I'll get you a cameraman. Okay, sir. Let us at least teach the police that we are seasoned lawyers. Hmm. I can't wait to get started, sir. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are just there, sir. You are there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I will see you. I have had you. You know we all hate the police for killing Ikem, Nancy, and their friends in cold blood. Mm. But we are not going to let them get away with it, are we? Not at all, no way. Not at all. No. No. Not at all. <sighs> you see, we have to strengthen the story a little. Not lying, but um, making it have a speedy trial and justice. See, Barrister, anything, anything at all, anything. Okay. All right, it goes like this. Nancy is going to be Ikim's fiancé. Mm. Yes. That's the story. And it's important that both of you collaborate in camera. Okay? <sighs> okay. Do you understand? Mm? Yes, Barrister. All right. Um, you are going to tell me everything you know about Ikim and Nancy. Alright? Come on, man. Sorry. Alright, sir. I'm ready. Ikim was a very good devil of mine. What is this? Take it easy. The police murdered her daughter. They killed her in cold blood. She's not the one. I told her. I tried everything to stop Nancy from going to Ajabu. She just decided to kill me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I understand how you feel. The police murdered her in cold blood. Hey! She's not the one. Okay? And I know that you'll be happy to see those that killed your daughter Nancy. Punished. Yes. yes. That is why we're here. This is the process to bring the culprits to book. Okay? Yes. So you just take it easy. And I also know that um, you will not be happy with your daughter because uh, she did not yield to her advice or she went to where you didn't want her to go to. But uh, I want to say you should just let that go. 
all right? Because we need to present her as a responsible girl so that she could um, attract her public and judicial sympathy, okay? My daughter is responsible. She's responsible. <laughs> My daughter is a responsible girl. Okay, it's just at times that children of nowadays hardly listen to their parents. The last definitely has not been heard of the Eba Six killings. Human rights activist Chukwu Emeka Igwelu San has taken special interest in the case. Hear him. Gentlemen of the press, 48 hours ago, the police commissioner of Ajabu made a public statement. A press conference, rather to explain the justification of the murder of these six young people. Five male and a woman. None of them, none, up to 30 years. Of course, the commission has struggled to convince even himself in a failed bid to make every good citizen of this country look stupid. However, I call what the CP hurriedly presented as a myopic misinterpretation. Gentlemen of the press, I have these posers for the police and the young right-thinking people of this great nation. One, why would the police hurriedly bury the Eba Six traders when it was already generating public interest? Two, why wasn't there an autopsy carried out as supposedly in any civilized country. Definitely, if there are killings of this nature, and if there is an argument going on, there must be an autopsy before every other thing will be done. Three, why didn't the police wait for the Ministry of Environment? The Minister of Environment, it is their duty to give permission before any cops or corpses are disposed. Why didn't the police wait for the Ministry of Environment's official permit before hurriedly disposing those six in a mass grave? Four, why was the DPO of Buza Central Police Command so personally involved as to physically lead the burial team? Stood guard why the hasty burial took place, a police officer who's supposed to be in his office, now turned himself to a recruit and led the burial team. Five, who and when was the claimed incident of robbery on same night lodged and to what team of the Beta squad? Six, why did the police prevent the council to the Eba Marketers Association, in person of John Chukudife, barrister, seated here, from making proper observation of for certain identification. Seven, and then fellow countrymen and women, the police paraded the van the youngsters attacked. They also paraded two local med pistols two daggers and a machete. Yet, the bullet holes on the police van were made by AK-47 rifles. I've had a forensic expert took inventory. Gentlemen of the press, please, I crave your indulgence to help me tell the good people of this country that this is the mother of all cover-ups. Those boys are not criminals. They are good citizens of this country before they were eliminated. And I call on the federal government to wait in immediately as to bring the perpetrators of this gruesome murder to book. Thank you very much. Georgia. Why, why didn't you send for me, sir? There was no need. D. 
JCP, Chris, Nkano, Adam. So, sir. What is it that you know that I do not know? Ah, sir, there is nothing I know, sir, that you do not what know. What is sir. it you are hiding from me? Ah, sir, I'm not hiding anything from you, sir. Did you not see the television a few minutes ago? Ah, TV? Sir, my TV is bad, sir. I sent it for the engineer to the press, sir. I don't know what the TV is, sir. So you did not see how that activist lawyer, Igwelu, rubbished the entire police force and brought my office to naught in respect of those robbers, as alleged by you? Oh, sir, that if it is in respect of those traders, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, I mean those arm robbers, sir, they were bloody criminals, sir, total, complete arm robbers, sir. I ask you again, DCP Chris in Canada, now tell me, what is it that you know that I do not know? Sir, there is nothing I know that you do not know, sir. Even before I know it, sir, you already know it, sir. My office has been thrown by a thousand and one calls from the powers that be ever since that incident. In the news tonight, police set up pro panel to look into the Ebasis killings. Nigerian Labour Congress says no to the new fuel hike by the federal government. The Nigerian movie industry voted third largest in the whole world. This is the news as presented by Jovita Monairo. Following the revelation of human rights activist Shukwemeka Igwelisan, the AIG Mr. Fidelix Okoha has set up a five-man pro panel to look properly into the case of six Iba traders that were killed 13 days ago. The police had alleged oh, that, that sir? six people, five men and one lady, were hand shots. Ha! Why should the police set up a panel to probe the police? To complete their cover-up. It's a strategy. Come. Can you imagine? And do we let that happen? Never. Anyway, we are getting somewhere. A panel means the police department are doubtful. By now, the presidency is at alert. So what do we do? Let in the screws. We'll go to the media again. <sighs> Fellow countrymen and women, you are all aware of the controversy and outcry raging since the incident of the six alleged armed robbers who were decimated by the men of the Better Special Corps of the Kusa Police Command. In response to that public demand, the police have set up a five-man panel led by ex-commissioner Gerald Melford. Yet, Characteristics of our society, the outcry has continued unabated. The question is, why should the police set up a panel to probe the police? To start with, the police force is a department of men of integrity, irrespective of the public perception. This is a very sensitive issue. And I tell you that the police under my command is as eager as every right thinking citizen to unravel the brave truth in this matter. Be rest assured that this panel will judiciously perform the duty before it. I equally assure you that the panel has no hidden agenda. No. Nonsense. We won't allow this. Tell this panel your involvement in the case dimension. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good day, sirs. 
So my name's uh, Deputy Commissioner of Police Chris Kano Adamo. I entered the police force since 1975, and I grew to the ranks before I became the Deputy Commissioner of Police. On the 6th of June 2005, precisely at the hour of 3:30 a.m., my vehicle was hit by a group of armed robbers. When I demanded to know why, I was assaulted and attacked. But because I resisted, they all fled. But knowing that there was an anti robbery patrol team nearby, I quickly radioed and alerted the Better Six patrol team, and they laid ambush. Unknown to the armed robbers that there was an ambush, they ran into them. They were asked to surrender. Unfortunately, they opened fire on the police officers who quickly retaliated. That resulted to the killing of the six armed robbers. That is all I can say for now, sir. That is all? Yes, sir. You messed it there. Thank you, sir. Uh, I would like to cross-examine him, Mr. Chairman. This is just a hearing, Mr. Persecution Council. Mr. Chairman, I listened to the Assistant Inspector General of Police address this nation 72 hours ago. He assured this panel will be first free and judicious. He promised that I, standing for the murdered six, even though the DCP referred to them as armed robbers, will be given every judicial freedom to cross-examine any witness testifying before this honorable panel. You can go ahead. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. DCP Chris, um, the six armed robbers, as you, DCP, claimed, attacked you. A point of correction, sir. They attacked me and not claim. They are statement of facts, sir. Fine. And you shot at them. I did not say so. I said I resisted and they all fled, sir. But you said there were six armed robbers. But I have said that several here, sir. Mr. DCP, you just took an oath. Yes, I took a note, so? Why should six good armed robbers, armed, flee from just one man? Just one man. With their guns, daggers, matches. Why didn't they go on or butcher you down? Is that your wish for me, sir? Yo, Mr. Chairman, sir, no, is that his wish for me? Uh, I want to know, sir. It's, it's no wish. It's no wish. Mr. DCP, it is no wish. Nevertheless, I am asking this question with the knowledge of Ambrobas, both of us have. Simplest thing and most appropriate action of the Ambrobas we know today is to shoot anybody on their way. At that early in the morning, it is obvious you, Mr. DCP, we are on their way. How come they fleet instead? Point of correction, sir. Both of us do not have the same kind of training. You are a trained lawyer. I'm a trained combatant military police officer. And I want to tell this honorable panel here that we are trained to dismember, dislodge, and overpower mere boys. Even when they were up to six in number, if they all armed, even 30, 100, even more. Oh, that is very good. It's now I knew that you were the Rambo of the Nigerian police. Whatever that is, now whatever that means. Honorable panel, how come the bullet wounds on the patrol van were that of AK-47 rifle instead of the local med pistol as you paraded for the public to see? Again, sir, you lack experience to teach me my job. You are not the police to determine that. I, I want to tell you, sir, that as a combatant military officer, yes, I serve my country to the best of my ability me... and that I know what I'm doing and I'm merely doing my job, sir. Mr. DCP, let me put it to you that I have a forensic expert who went through all this and by his grace, he will soon stand here as a witness as we progress. Sir, I will create the indulgence of this panel to let the forensic expert come. Exactly. Let the person come and determine and prove beyond reasonable doubt which bullet, which bullet belongs to the other. Mr. DCP, I think that is all for now. Thank you very much, sir. And I want to quickly tell Mr. Chairman here, sir, that I have served my country for 30 years. I have served this great country for 30 years.
years and I've served you to the best of my ability. I want to let you know that I did all that I did to the best of my ability to protect the sanctity and image of the police force. Mr. Chairman, thank you, sir. DP Alao, could you please tell this honorable panel why the corpses were shielded from the public eyes? <clears throat> well, that is the normal police procedure. Even when there were reef speculations that the victims were murdered in the cold blood. Those were mere fallacies. I mean, those culprits were real arm robbers, and the evidence is clear. Like the local med pistol or gun you have? I don't know what you're insinuating. Why did you have to personally insist on burying the dead without autopsy or the all-important permit from the Minister of Environment? Well, in the cases of armed robbery, such protocols are not necessary. Well, proven cases of armed robbery, if I may say, not when there is every evidence that the victims were innocent souls whose only crime we are enjoying weekend out. True or right? Wrong. Why must you personally escort the cops to the burial ground? I never did. Are you telling this panel that you weren't at the burial ground? Personally? No. Mr. Lao, what if I get a witness who will testify that you personally supervised the burial of the dead body? Well, let the witness come forward. But the witness is certain of your words at the burial site where let us bury these people quickly and get out of this place, list the traders, trace this place and exhume the bodies in the dark. Those were the worst. Could you remember? <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> uh, Mr. Lao, that is all for now. developments involving the Eba Six killings has revealed a lot of twists and intrigues, prompting the federal government to immediately halt and dissolve the earlier committee set up by the Inspector General of Police to investigate the case. In place, the federal government has reacted swiftly, setting up a seven-man judicial panel led by Justice Maureen Ida, retired to immediately begin a due process of probe, to unravel the truth and possibly expose the real drama surrounding the killings, and also to unravel a possible police cover-up in the whole incident. Significantly, the federal government, acting based on revelations at the panel, has ordered that all of those fingered in the killing must be watched closely by the police. The panel members have been sworn in, and sittings are to commence in 48 hours. Yes! That's more like it. Now we are talking. The action has just started. <laughs> yeah. With the way things are now, I think we we we, we must do something. We, 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 I can smell trouble coming our way. Alaro, and that is if we don't lose our nerves. We, 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 with the panel of inquiry already sitting, eh? And the and the and the IG is not even raising any eyebrow. Look, can't you can't you read the handwriting on the wall? Can't you? Alaro, what what is the matter with you? What has come over you? Come on, we are policemen. And we have had this kind of cases smoothly covered over many times before. So what are you talking about? See, 
<clears throat> with that mad lawyer in there we cross examining us eh? and, and, and then, then, then the, the shooting of that uh, patrol car of ours is it, the mother of our blunders it doesn't matter eh? it doesn't matter what is most important now is for us to get a good lawyer who can counter and puncture whatever that mad lawyer has up his sleeves a good That's lawyer all. A good lawyer. Yes. The federal government is already interested in this case. So covering up everything is out of it. Hello. Now you tell me, what exactly do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? We bolt. Jamus. Bolt? Yes. How? Why? Tell me. Look, by this time tomorrow, either of us could either be in the UK or in the US. We just vanish into thin air. Vamos. No, it's not possible. Allow, if we bold, that would mean accepting guilt and putting other officers in a fix. You put them in trouble, which is not good enough for this case. Come on. But the way the situation is right now, we have to save our skins. Can't you see that? Every man for himself, God for us all. Allow, what is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? I have assurances from the high places that nothing will come out of this case. Okay? You don't want to get panicky. Hey, hey, hey. Assurances. Assurances in this country. Of course. Assurances. Hey, oh God, please. Look. See, by the time the shit starts to fly, and all kinds of indictments are falling in from left to right, hmm? and the press is hanging on to our jugulars. You see all those people you think you have? They will wash their hands off us. I'm telling you now, let us bolt. It will never happen. Not while I'm alive. And let me tell you, I have covered up a lot of asses in this country and this is collection time. I want you to know that. Now come on, let me tell you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Listen, this, this, listen, this listen, listen to me. As long as you don't panic, we are not going to have any problem. Okay? Come on. Our brief from the federal government is straight. An instruction is complete this assignment within three weeks. We do not intend to spend a day longer. So can we have a straight to the point? Your Honor, my name is Chukwemeka Igwelo. Igwelo spelled I G W E L U. Sam. With me here is Barrister. John Chukudiofo, we are representing the EBA 6. My lord, I am Manfred Isiaka Abdul Yakubu. And with me here is my colleague, Barrister Jackson Okoromadu, defense counsel for the accused. Your Honor, that will be all. That's all? Yes, Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, yes. because I wish to examine him. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Deputy Commissioner of Police, Christian Nkano Adamu, when these notorious armed robbers attacked you, what went through your mind? Objection, my lord. What? In setting up this panel, the federal government referred to it as the Eba 6 killing and not the Eba 6 armed robber killing. I would like this honorable panel to advise my learned colleague to rephrase his questions, as I will not tolerate my clients being addressed in such a rude way. Objection sustained. Defense counsel, take note. OK, Your Honor. I will rephrase my question. Deputy Commissioner, sir, when these odd characters... Objection again! What again, you well? I will not accept this honorable citizens of Nigeria who were murdered in cold blood being referred to in a negative idiom. Please, they are known as Eba 6 murder. No more, no less. Objection sustained. Henceforth, I wish them be referred to as the Eba 6. As the Lordship pleases. 
And if I may borrow a lead from my learned colleague, Deputy Commissioner, sir, and when these seemingly innocent EPA 6 assaulted you, what went through your mind? Well, first, um, they behaved like armed robbers. Hey! Mm. What gave you that impression, sir? Well, I'm a trained officer and I've been in this, I've been in the force for the past 30 years. And I can smell an armed robber from one mile. Good sense of smell. Okay, go ahead. Now, when six of them attacked me, I barely survived their, their assault. But however, as an officer who rose through the ranks, I had to bring my experience to bear. So, finding my resistance unyielding, they went into their car and fled. Consequently, I alerted a better six patrol team. And when you got to the spot? Well, when I got to the spot, expectedly, the crack team, the better six patrol squad, had professionally done their job by gunning down all the six armed robbers. Hey. And that's exactly how you met them, sir? That was exactly how I met them, sir. Very simple. Thank you, sir, for your experience as a professionally trained, conscientious and meticulous officer. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honor. That will be all. Any cross-examination? Well, I have no words yet for this liar who swore to protect lives and properties instead murdered innocent citizens in cold blood with his official weapon that was procured with Objection, your lord. Objection, my lord. Counsel appears to be attempting character assassination here. Objection sustained. Prosecution counsel. This is an instituted panel of inquiry, not an open court. So do mind your use of words. Well, permit me, Your Honor. I am defending the dead. Sometimes they speak their voices from inside me. Your Honor, I have a case that I would like to present before this honorable pa 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 panel goes on. Are you in any way trying to teach this panel the order of proceedings? Not in the least, Your Honor. We have an understanding to operate within a limited time. The onus is to prove within reasonable doubt. You see, I am defending the dead and have so much job to do, at least convincing this honorable panel that those people were murdered in cold blood. Objection, my lord. Isn't the prosecution counsel putting the cart before the horse, thereby trying to sway this honorable panel? Objection overruled. Go ahead, you will. Thank you, Your Honor. This tape will speak for the dead. I have here a projector and a VHS machine. It is my wish that this panel will witness it as it speaks the murder of all cover-ups. My daughter told me that she was going to Ajabu to visit her fiancé. Yes. I never knew she was working to her death. Mm. Okay, um, madam, your daughter was your daughter allegedly was killed in arm robbery. What will, how will you, will you react to that? Hey, my daughter. Arm robbery, yes. Rob? No. It's a lie. Nancy can never steal anything. She's never taken anything from my post. Talk more of going to the port of Sudan. Please, God. 
cut short while he was in jail too and ever since Obina has been taking care of me the remaining of our family including the affairs of Felix his immediate younger brother who was also murdered with him two of your sons Obina and Felix are said to be armed robbers. What do you say to that? Never! I say never! That cannot be possible. Obina was... That is Mrs. Nega Ude, the mother of Obina and Felix. And now... Oh my God. It is shocking. Not only losing the eldest of my sons, but also hearing scribe that he is a, a he is a robber. I am trying to recover. <coughs> By the special grace, I will. But if, but I put it straight to you. If he came, is a, a robber. Then, the police IG himself is Osama bin Laden. Initiated. That was the face of the ex minister, Dr. C.C. Okwasa, speaking from his sick bed where he is receiving treatment for a cancer of the lungs. He is the father of Ikem Okwasa, the purported leader of the gang. All these men and women represent families of the slain six. As it is customary in Africa, no mother or father will come out publicly to associate with an armed robber. If an ordinary thief, as claimed by the police, yes. let it also be on record that till date, where they robbed, whom they robbed, has not been presented by any police officer. Well, when I heard the two shots shortly after the boys scream, I knew something was not quite right. First, I have seen robbers before. As a combatant policeman of the Mopol unit, I have seen robbers before. But the boy I saw, was no criminal. And there is no indication. I tried to find out from, in fact, 
he was no criminal. And I believe till now he's not a criminal. All the while I was with him, he pleaded that I took him to the police station. So there is no how I can believe that he's a criminal. That's the face of the mobile policeman, Felix Mordi. The officer attached to Eleke Estate. The estate, the last of the killed boys, Felix, luckily ran to and unluckily died because he behaved just like a good citizen, wanting to get the police for a statement. That same night when we stopped them, we searched the vehicles, there were no weapons. The DCP Chris joined us immediately after we had stopped them. He ordered us to shoot at them and the inspector shot two of them down immediately and the others ran away. And we went in hospitals after them and we caught two of them, a boy and a girl. And we took them to the, to the station that night. Again, the DCP joined us that same night and was not happy still finding them alive. He said that the police does not have time for court sessions with such criminals. He ordered us to bring them along and we took them behind the police stations. There he shot the two of them down immediately. And he ordered us rigidly not to lose the other remaining one, which we went after him that same time and we found him with one Mopo man that was guiding one estate. He handed him over to us. So when we were taking him to the, to the police station, the inspector gunned him down immediately. That is the face of Private Mike Idahosa, a member of the patrol team that we are coerced into this gruesome act by DCP, Chris, and DPO Alawa. Prosecution counsel. Your Honor. Can you get Private Idahosa to testify before this panel? He gave me his words, Your Honor, that he is now repented and will be available to spill the beans anytime he is invited. The manager of the hotel that was alleged to have been attacked by the murdered six also swore that those who attacked his outfit came in a jeep, red jeep, and with AK-47 rifle, not locally made pistols. Uh, that one and every other person are ready to appear before this honorable panel. Can you get Private Idahosa to appear here tomorrow? Definitely, I will. Then, this session is adjourned to reconvene 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. As 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 Prosecution Council, do you have your major witness in court? Your Honor, I just received a message from the family of Private Mikey Dahusa that he, Mikey Dahusa, was murdered yesterday night in his house. Defense counsel, does that explain why your client is not here? Well, Your Honor, I'm not aware of this new development, but I do know my client called me earlier this morning excusing himself from today's proceedings due to official unavoidable circumstances. This section is hereby adjourned to your further notice. As your I 
feel real sadness in me. Facing you again, gentlemen of the press, on this ever killings. To start with, the appropriate word should be the ever six murders. Recent tweets of swings of events has forced my department to order for the immediate arrest of DCP Chris Nkano Adamu, ASP Greg Adams, DPO Alao Additional, who is at large but has been declared wanted by the police. Anybody with useful information concerning his whereabouts should immediately report to the police. Inspector Latif Ibrahim, Sergeant Adamu Abdullahi, and Private Inuarigo. All of these men have cases to answer regarding the killings, which I may now describe after the pieces of jigsaw that are gradually falling into place as premeditated, reprehensible, unjustifiable, and inexcusable. The police wish a real trial to commence immediately in order to bring the corporates to book, a justice may reign. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. Any question, please? Yes. Sir, this is one killing too many. What is your high command doing about this? Incessant killing, brutalizing, maiming of innocent citizens by your men. And sir, why was the police command tried covering up at the initial stage? Sir, are you sure justice will be done at the end of the day? Sir, what is the hope of the common man from your men? Which one do I answer? And how? At last! <laughs> Police needs moral sanitation. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank sir. you very much, sir. sir. The real prosecution now starts. Mm. I must see those men down. Thank you very much. <laughs> At last, for the first time, let good triumph over evil. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we are there. <laughs> Thank we you again. Are...